channel and before we dive right into this video i'm going to show you the material needed to achieve this look you're going to need spray paint any color i chose gold uh, for the look i wanted i got a light duty stapler i got staples scissors and fur. i have white and i have black I have two chairs also that I purchased from the Goodwill. Both of them were 10 bucks a piece. So these are the chairs. They were 10 bucks a piece, like I said, from my local Goodwill. The leather being worn didn't matter to me because I knew I was gonna cover them up with fur. Spray painting for me was a pretty simple step. Just make sure that when you are spraying the chair that you're not so close to the leg because it will cause the paint to run and you do not want that. It also doesn't matter if you get paint on the leather. Um, I did make a mistake and, you know, spray some areas, but once you cover it with the fur, then it won't matter and it doesn't affect anything. One can of paint was enough. It was just the right amount. I did two coats for each chair and that was all that it took for full coverage. You should also make sure that you spray all angles and all sides of the chair if you have to. If it's necessary, then just flip the chair over and do it that way for easier management. Now it's time for the fun part. I let the chairs dry at least 30 minutes after each coat. Um, you're not gonna see me cut the fur here because it was just the right size, length and width wise for me to put it on there and not cut. I don't remember the exact measurements that I used for this material, but to be on the safe side, I suggest you get a yard. That should be more than enough for whatever size chair that you have. You can also measure the chair before you go to purchase material too. I got the fur from Joann's. Normally this fur runs $30 a yard. I had a coupon so I got it half off and I only spent $30 for both colors together. I was kind of struggling with the stapler. Um, you have to make sure that when you're stapling that you're going into the wood and not into the material of the chair because certain parts I was actually stapling into the leather and not into the wood. You have to feel and make sure that you're in the right spot. Altogether, this project cost me about 70 bucks. The chairs were 10 bucks a piece. The fur was 30 bucks and the stapler the staples and the scissors 
which all came from Walmart, were about $20. So, yeah, 70 bucks, and I got two bomb chairs out of it. So right here you have the option to tuck and fold or to cut at the corners and make it lay flat. It worked in my favor to fold it and tuck it, but as long as you staple right, then you may not have to cut anything. That's just an option. These are not chairs that I plan on using every single day. These are really just decoration for me but i would suggest that if you're using them for guests or whatever the case may be that you use heavy duty staples so you would need the heavy duty stapler um to ensure that your chair will uphold to all the wear and tear of day-to-day -day use So for the size of the chair, there wasn't really anything to attach the staples to. Um, and this is where I had to kind of improvise, but um, tucking the top of the fur and stapling there was much easier than trying to staple into the chair itself. Um, you have an option and I think I'll use this the next time either sew the size down with the matching thread or use E6000 to glue the fur to the sides of the chair. I managed to find spots that I could actually place the staples. There was wood there. It was just deeper than it was like in the front or the back of the chair. But um, be cautious and mindful when you're shopping for chairs that that's something that you're gonna have to be able to manage. So I make it over to the other side and it's a lot easier now because I'm just redoing the same steps. Um, for me, it was a smoother process to staple from the top and work my way down. So now I'm trying to figure out how to get the fur to actually stay in the seat of the chair. I cut up the sides right where the back of the chair and the seat meet. That way it'll lay flatter and it'll be less of a hassle. The best part about using the stapler is that once you're done stapling the chair, just take your hand and rub the fur 
um, in whatever direction you need to go, but it'll cover up wherever you staple. So right here, I realized that I cut too far up on that side of the chair. So with the excess material being right there in the front of the chair, I just cut a piece off and added it to the back. It wasn't noticeable, so it didn't matter, but that was the reason why I suggested you get a yard of fur or whatever material you use because mistakes happen. This was one of the reasons why I was excited that the fur actually measured up to be able to go on the chair in one piece because that excess fur that's coming off, I hate that. And for me to have to cut and constantly cut on that would have been a big hassle to clean up. It was a lot easier this time and much quicker to do. So um, after I guess the first try, you should be able to do this with no problem um, because I finished this second chair a lot quicker. Here's the final product. They came out so well. They are perfect and I can't wait to decorate. I hope this video was helpful. If you choose to use this method, feel free to send me pics. I want to see what you all come up with. I hope this inspires someone. If you have ideas or something that you want to see from me, then feel free to come in and let me know. Bye, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.